Welcome to another episode, Captain Card 716. I'm your host, Buddy J18. I'm joined today by Good TJ. Uh, TJ North Shore Fitted here. We're joined to our special guest, the uh, Japan plug. Uh, off to you, Mike. Hat Ninja. Thank you. <laughs> Hat Ninja. Yes. Mike has uh, joined us today. We have a whole bunch of hats to show off. And uh, let's get into this. Actually, I'm going to wear one of my older ones. While we do this, I'll get the Cali Bear out too because the Dodgers won. <laughs> that was kind of wild. You should have told me I had one as well. Oh, no way. Yeah, no, that's what I saw. I saw when I saw that you posted this, you had your picture on your dash, this on your dash. When you yeah. first went on, a, you, it, the lockdown just ended and you just said you were going to the Osaka store. I saw that picture and I sent it to John and I was like, that thing's so dope. I was like, you're never going to have that. Yeah, so, that's a good one. They, yeah, I grabbed like four more on top of the. The other four that I was like, oh shit. But uh that reminds me of the Finn Yeah, thanks song. for that. I already boxed it up and it was taped and everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, this I think you had to explain to me what this is. Yeah, you know, you'll touch it, you'll feel the material. It's a little bit lighter. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I have one of those, and it's really nice in the summer because like the air passes through and it, mm. it cools down your head a lot better. It's probably similar to like the, the BP caps for the Major League Baseball, like that material. Yeah, it, it's got more of like a pro light feel. Oh, is it like that uh, raised hat that you got me? Yeah. Like that cotton? Actually, material? even a little lighter than that. Oh. It is poly. I think it's polyester. But yeah, it's uh, just, I think like the thread. got that nice, like lower. that wicker. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, which I will not be able to make glow right now. But uh, that's the glow in the dark, yeah. That'll go great with uh, my Spidey pins now. <laughs> this one will also go great with that. The stitching on this is yeah. pretty yeah, that's re that's It's heavy too. I think it's an extra 100 grams. Uh, it's Holy like uh, Shane, the Americana hats. Like they, they post all these like dope Americana hats, they're always overseas exclusives. Like you think they'd uh, try to uh, like release something here for newer USA? You oh. think, right? <laughs> well, we're gonna start with the "You Are the Goat" hat. Yes. So one of the um, band members from Exile collaborated on this hat. That's why it has the O3 JSB at the back. Okay. Which th that's unrelated to baseball, but okay. um, yeah, the the front. I like how they incorporated the um, the Y and G characters in the logo to create that um i don't even know if you really need the you are the like most people just go with the goat right mm, but, yeah um, yeah it's creative i like that yeah we just we we always say goat and you you know we're on mac we're talking about like tom Brady or whatever so it just it it's a structured term so this is the swallows they um they match the stitch color with the hat color on all six of the hats in that series. Um, so it's, it's kind of, kind of subtle um, to bring your attention to the, um, the side stitch in the back as well. What's on the back of that one? Uh, seven time sure. champs. There you go. That's the swallows. And uh, right now they're actually leading the, um, the central league by half a game over the Hanshin tigers. Hmm. which is this team here who's got the tigers is it you tj i do yeah. i wanted that logo that side pat that think that patch on the side of your jersey i've been yeah. wanting one of that like on the front of the cap and that one had it on the side so that's why i wanted that one eight x champs there you go Hashin. and i know so that's, that's one of the stadiums babe ruth played at correct when he came first came over he did like <laughs> a fan tour with the major league baseball players it, and he played it, it, it probably would have been ages ago because the stadium itself is almost 100 years old no they played at that stadium i remember yeah. reading and reading about that because when he went yeah. on the japan tour with uh like dominant dimaggio and all them to get like start to get the baseball thing going and then the mpb was founded shortly after that if i'm not mistaken that first Wait, hold on a minute let's go back to the tigers oh, give, yeah. give my team a little more attention <laughs> 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 yeah so um Funny thing, like 1985, I think, was the last time they won. Uh, it's probably on the hat there. Um, it says 05. 05. 05. I've got, I've got the hat as well here. 
There you go. Yes. 2005, 2003. Um, 1985 was a huge win. And um, I remember um, seeing in the news after that, they had to, um, they had to basically close downtown because um, thousands of people were jumping into the river. And it, that 1985, um, that would have been, yeah, like 21 years since the previous 1964. So people went nuts. And then again, um, because they closed the river, they were prepared in 2003, was it? Yeah, 2003, um, they closed the river uh, ahead of the celebration, ahead of winning. Um, but people, they tore down, they tore down the, uh, the barricades and they took a KFC Colonel Sanders statue and they threw him <laughs> in the river. Um, and that, that was kind of, it was kind of like um, an <laughs> FU to 22, 20, sorry, 18 years of like being in last place because in 1985, they did the same thing and they called it the Colonel Sanders curse. <laughs> so for like a couple of decades, you know, the Tigers were like the worst team in the league. And, um, and finally it was just like, yes, we did it again. And they threw it in the statue um, in the river. And uh, what they, they won in 2005 and now it's 2021 and we still haven't won. So <laughs> I think we should stop throwing things in the river. <laughs> but, Maybe it was good luck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Mike, has there ever been any notable Tigers that have went to the major leagues, like to uh, like the American baseball that you know of? Or? Um, oh, who's the guy? We had a guy, we had a guy who went for like a year and he just flunked out and then he just came back. Um, what was it? There was another guy, um, center fielder. Oh, name escapes me now. Wasn't, um, I, I have guy. to get back to you. I have to get back to you. Yeah, no, it's just... so interesting. Like the major league agreement, cause uh, the giants were the first ones to bring someone in that San Francisco giants to post. Yeah. 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 yeah they made a contract in the sixties and they brought them back. And then there was nobody until like the nineties. Which yeah, are so yeah, interesting normal. because they didn't want them poaching players back and forth. Mm -hmm. They did like declare for one or the other. Like right now, it's all about money. Like people, the players are only going for money. Um, because, you know, you see a lot of um, a lot of the world baseball championships and like, you know, intercontinental championships. Japan wins. Yeah. I think they won like the, the, first and second uh world baseball thingy and classic yeah yes yeah you guys um, beat, uh, I, mean, the America, I think you guys beat us the uh team usa i believe this year i yeah i wasn't like i'm not following anymore it's just like because of corona but yeah um japan like japanese players are pretty good yeah so well, like, like, i don't yeah, i've noticed like, that but like when I went to a game, it was USA Canada and later at night they had uh, like it was Japan and like Italy and nobody wanted to be at that game. Like tickets were five bucks, but for the USA Canada game, it was 150 a seat, you know, but you're seeing the New York Yankees usually are a good majority of them. Mm -hmm. And Japan, usually they allow their players to go play abroad. It's kind of like the soft politics um you know to, to push japan and you know the image of japan so they'll the owners they'll just say yeah go play you know regardless of when it is i think um a couple years ago it was right in the middle of the season but uh thank you that's the the hat ninja pin there too yeah <laughs> i have your pin on this and then i have your other pin here for tj and uh, tj is now wearing the uh the lions yep yeah Eagle i love lions. logo on this one yeah, that's the Pacific League Cebu Lions. And I they actually, uh, Cebu that, is a uh, transportation company. So I think this was the team that Matt Suzaka came from, uh, Dice Care, the yeah, Red Sox. Right. We yes. paid for them to build. We gave up so much money to get him. They built a brand new stadium. 555 million or something like that? Yeah, they, they built a brand new stadium with the money. The Red Sox financed their new stadium. Are the Dragons <laughs> like a newer stadium. team? Is that what happened where they just started winning in like the 50s, the 70s? All the way to the well, bottom. There. Yeah, I mean that that bigger ball right there that shows. Tells you they look, yeah, they were made. Oh, okay. Yeah. 1936, right? Um, 
they're they're nine time champions right there, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. 2010, 2011. Um, I, like I fucking hate the dragons, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I hate them. Like, they're from Nagoya. And Nagoya is neither East Japan or West Japan. It's like Central Japan. So, like, everyone hates on the dragons. <laughs> I went to see one of their, um, one of their games. Um, and, like, the fans are just rude. You know, uh, we have this kind of like this unspoken rule in Japanese baseball where only the offen the offensive team fans are allowed to cheer. So when, you know, the Tigers are batting, we cheer. And when the other team goes, comes to bat, we shut up. But like the Dragons fans, they'll be cheering and booing like throughout the game. It's, it's like they've got more of like an MLB kind of um atmosphere i hate it like i think that it's really courteous and um yeah it's cool that you know you you get your turn to cheer so hmm. don't they uh separate the fans to on one side of the stadium and each on the other yeah it's kind of like like soccer yeah like where you have your your cheer section and if you're outside of that section you're not allowed to cheer so when i went to see the the tigers play the dragons i had to go sit in the tiger section which is usually in japan it's like the first base side is for the visitors the third base side is sorry no the first base side is for the home team third base is for the visitors mm. so I'd say that's probably sit, most of the same in america too yeah yeah and the the but last one here the, i have is the yes. giants yeah fuck them <laughs> which uh they're like the yankees right because they had the most chips they are. They are. I mean, like, there's 47. a reason why they're the Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Like, that's not, that's not even fun. It's not even fun. Um, like, if you look, well, lost, if you look uh, on the back, you'll see the strings. They'll have, like, like, five, six, seven consecutive wins throughout the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. <laughs> there was a lull in the, yeah, in the late 90s for, like, three years, but... No, they they're like perennial, perennial all stars. I know Justin Smokes, an American player that's on their team now. He used to play for the Blue yeah. Jays, and he played. I swear we didn't yeah. know that before we ordered all these. <laughs> <laughs> Just want well, to make the a disclaimer the, about that. Uh, Hawks, I caught like last year or the year before. The Dia Hawks, yes. Yeah. What was it? Uh. No, I remember during you, the MPB was the first sport to really come back at, with the COVID stuff. And I remember staying up to watch baseball just because I wanted to watch sports. And they had American broadcasters broadcasting it. At first, it was yeah. like subtitled, but you, it didn't translate very well. So then they got some commentator to come on virtually. Oh, that's pretty cool. I remember what staying is, up to like three or four in the morning. So I watch is, baseball. This is your boob <laughs> hat, I think you call it too. What is this logo? That is the, the Giants' original logo. Okay. So I think it's got a 1934. 34, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if they have those in the other ones. Yeah, so like the Giants, they're, they're um, basically the team in, um, in Japan that most players want to go to play for because they have the highest salaries. And, and Japan doesn't really have a salary cap. Um, or it's really soft. There's no real penalties if you go. Yeah, over. just like kind of like Major League Baseball. There's no real penalties other than paying luxury tax. And, then, and um, yeah, and then in Japan we have a draft, and where the the draft is basically um, the worst team does not pick first, but each team in each round gets to submit their choice for their player, and if two or three teams pick the same player then the player gets to pick which team they want to go to. And Ooh. yeah, that's not fair, is it? No. <laughs> so most people want to, most players want to play for a 47 time champion as opposed to like, who is it? The, the, the Bay Stars, the Yokohama Bay Stars, two time champions, okay? Like two times since 1949, two. 
<laughs> who was the closer? Who was the closer? The name escapes me. Who was the closer for um for Seattle Mariners back uh, in the late nineties? He came from Japan. Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Sasaki, I think it was Sasaki. Does that name ring a bell? That's I'm like not, a couple decades. Yeah, you guys yeah, are we're, playing great. That's, we're East that's outside our... <laughs> yeah. we're East Coast. I do have a Mariners cap handy. I got this uh, Ichiro, cap, Ichiro, uh, Ichiro yeah. cap from uh, Outland. And Ichiro would have come from the, um, the Oryx uh, Blue Wave or now the Oryx Buffalo um, of the Pacific League. So that would that would be uh, Seattle. There you go. So show me the whole jersey, and then I'm going to show you what they do to jerseys in Japan. Just lift it up up to the numbers, right? This is basic. You got the name, the numbers, right? Yep. Side patch. Side patch, and then big Seattle on the front. This is the road jersey. I think the name's probably going to be at the bottom or something. Okay, so this is what we do to jerseys. You ready for it? So you got the name on the front. This is the visitor's jersey. So the visitor's jersey is going to have the uh, the company name or the, the team city. In this case, it's Hanshin, which is the railway company that owns the team. Okay, then we have a side patch here. We got a side patch here. And then Bugakasha. <laughs> what even? <laughs> yeah, so that's basically the cheer. So we'll sing that. Mm. Don't ask me to sing it now. We'll sing that. <laughs> we, we, we're not then, American Idol or The yeah. Voice. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got the you got the the tiger, which we call oh. a tora tora in in Japanese. You see the tiger kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. Printed mm. into the kanji. Yeah. Hmm. So actually, I made this one. Um, you go to the you go to the stadium and you can basically design your own jersey. They've got layouts, they've got like patches, you buy the patches, and then they'll they'll kind of like steam it onto the, the shirt for you as a free service. Yeah, and so, so you like can like Yeah, he and then so you go to the you go to the stadium like an hour early and you just like pick out your patches and whatever, and then pick out your jersey. The jersey itself is like 80 bucks, 60 bucks, it depends on the team. Um, and then just go over by the patches. The patches sometimes cost more than the jersey. Like that's a huge, huge patch. Um, yeah. And then you got like I spent two hundred two hundred dollars on this all total. Is it uh, something that you can keep adding to it? So let's say you get oh yeah, yeah back patch. You went to another yeah. game during the season. You get a patch right here. Put on. You can get like another one. Put on there. That's right. That's, that's right. Cool. And like not particularly this one, but I have another one um, that I. Basically, I wore to every game, and uh, I had like I, I don't have it here, but oh man, I have probably about twenty patches, like just covering it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's something you can't really do in um, in North America. No, they were whining about the new Nike ones having the swoosh on the front. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like we... a lot of... <laughs> We were up in arms over where the swoosh should be, whether it should be front and center or on the sleeve. And I, I'm one of the sleeve Whatever. people, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, like people are so upset because it's so traditional for like no advertising on American baseball jerseys. Yeah. They're so upset because they put the check mark on it. I could care less, but a lot of the older yeah. people. Well, there. traditionally, the Yankees and the Red Sox being the two most, say, sought after up until like the Dodgers, there would be nothing on the back they don't have the names on the jersey and you just get a number you know and it just it's very traditionalists will don't want anything added to those right well i mean there's nothing bad about tradition but that i think it's just the way that people perceived it and now that they once they throw it at you a couple times you're gonna you'll cave or you'll buy it if you're going it's just it's part of i it. think a lot of people aren't buying the nike retail authentics because if you want like what they wear on field you're gonna spend like four or five hundred bucks for a jersey which is ridiculous that's nuts nike's just pricing people out of it <laughs> yeah. yeah there's and, not enough uh, money to buy the patches after that <laughs> 
you won't you'll get a blank you won't even get a, a name or a number stitched on either wow shall we do a little recap because i have to i have to let you guys go soon yeah i've got i've got actually i've got all six perfect i've got perfect. all six so yeah i'll just go run them down this is the yokohama bay stars mm. see in the light there yeah yeah i know the b, b with, the, with star. the star there right side has got two time champs the lowly with a gray uv and we got uh, i think they were last we'll just go up up the yeah. uh, up the ladder the chunichi fucking dragons <laughs> which uh they had that they movie with alternate... they had yes that you know what that was that was like pretty accurate it was pretty accurate i love that movie because of yeah, how watched... true it Sorry, that's a pretty good movie yeah um, yeah, so that was the Dragons from Nagoya. Um, they share the alternate logo with the uh, the Dodgers, I think. Mm. Chris uh, sent me a picture there. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, they're they're nine times champions again. Gray UV, and we got in fourth place. I think right now is the the Cincinnati Reds. No, that's the Hiroshima <laughs> Carp, which again nine times. They have they have been pretty dominant the last few years. They won three in a row, 2016, 17, and 18. There you go. I love that character too. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a yeah. like a 50s bobblehead right there. Yeah. Again, yeah, that's why me and John wanted the swallows, the swallows cap that me and John, I think both. Oh, have. funny story about the swallows. You know, back when the iPhone first came out. Um, the swallows they they would jump on the bandwagon and they made this app called the i swallows it didn't really go down too well and they had to you know remove it from the app store pretty quickly it's self-explanatory but, uh, this is the giants they are now in third place they will probably remain in third place because right now the central league is uh is a tight race with three games left between the swallows and the tigers so the giants 47 times there you go and my team the tigers from osaka the hanshin tigers nine time champions hopefully this year we'll make it a good 10 there you go again great they're all great uvs and then current leaders by tomorrow second place the i swallows <laughs> Yakult swallows. Yakult is actually um, it's a beverage company. There you go, seven-time champions. So, all of these hats are beautiful. This is actually a dark navy. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah. We've got a couple of they're black, the tigers and the giants, red, and then we got a royal blue and a kind of like a dark blue. But guys, thank you very much for inviting me on. Um, it was entirely my pleasure. I appreciate the invite. And yeah, I yeah. Hopefully, uh, we'll on. talk again yeah, it soon. Was great to have a, put a face to a name and actually get to interact. And I'm learning a little bit more about Japanese baseball. It's on my bucket list at some point. Hopefully, when stuff gets back to normal, I can go out. I'd love to go out there and catch a game. I love to. I love to introduce you to it and take you. That'd be very cool. Yeah. Thank you. I took um, you too, John. If you ever get out of New York. <laughs> I I'm well traveled actually. I made it all the way down to the the Devil Rays before they become the Ray Expos again or something. <laughs> so we'll just wrap it up the way we always do. Uh, so we do we started our own little thing for a positivity message at the end of our show. If you haven't caught any of those episodes, so in uh we do peace, love, and caps, and we and then we just wrap it up like that. So all right. If you want to do it with us, that's cool. If All right, not, let's let's give it let's, a go. Let's do it. So All peace right. time, peace. and then we do love, love, and then we take our hat off. Caps, and that's caps. Perfect, and that's Thank a wrap. You.